Yes, guys, once again, it's your boy H talking at media, comics, sports, combat sports, and more. Basically, it's a quick little video about Sol Campbell. Um, I just think it's really good that Sol Campbell has kept Macclesfield up. They were five points adrift in League Two. I know he's in the football channel, I'm not really making a football channel because there's a hell of a lot of him already about. But basically, and let's not make it a racial thing, I'm going to have to make it not a racial thing, but mention his race. Because if you look at his England stats, his amount of caps he's had, I don't care if you're like a Spurs fan, uh, Arsenal fan, whatever, he's a legend. He's an England legend, he's a centre back, like one of the top tier centre backs of all time. A skill on the ball, head off, strong, great tackler. He was even good at Newcastle for that little period he was there. But listen, here's the thing about Sol Campbell. So he had basically, off the top of my head, roughly 80 odd caps. Him, Gerard Lampard, and I'm not saying it's a racial thing, but this could be, so let me know how you can destroy it. Um, a lot of people think it is racial, but I'm a brown guy, or white dad, I've got always a brown mom, so um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I, I'm never that guy to make things racial if they're not, but it's poss probably and possibly is. So basically, he had to start his job at the low level of League 2. Gerard started, no matter what you say about Scottish Premier League, Rangers are a big club, I don't care. Like, if you think Rangers aren't a big club in history of football, just get out, don't watch this. Rangers are a big club, as was Oik. Straight in at Rangers, legendary club, let's be honest. Macclesfield, not, no one, except for Macclesfield, but across the country, not many people know them, let's be honest. They're like Akron Stanley, not many people who don't follow the Premier League will know them. And to be fair, a lot of people in the Premier League don't know Ipswich, who won the actual Football League, the uh, Division 1 years back, and they were under the legendary uh, Bobby Robson. They're football fans, football fans are very casual. As are most sports, the Premier League at the moment is the upper tier and most people love it. It's worldwide. Anyway, that's my point. So Macclesfield is, let's say, League 2, yeah, League 2's there. Rangers are back there, I'd say. And then my guy, Frank Lampard, straight to Derby, which is you the same as Rangers were a bit above. Obviously, they're a historical team as well. And he's doing really well. Fair play to him. They're both doing well. Gerard, uh, Lampard. But then, if you say Joey Barton went in at a high level from Sol Campbell, he went in at Fleetwood Town. Straight in at Fleetwood Town, which is a higher level. I'm not saying they're a bigger team. I'm not on about that. I'm talking about in terms of league. They were League 1 when he was there. I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. He's here with a fracas with a different manager quite recently. But anyway, it's quite funny. But Mackles, to be fair to him, they also had uh, Paul Lintz. Obviously, they're both African, Caribbean. Do we use that word in England anymore? I know we used to. My step was Jamaican, so people, I think, told me always prefer in blacks. African, Caribbean, like me, like I'm, like I said, my dad's white, my mum's obviously brown Asian, so I prefer I'm me and I'm age. Don't call me brown, call me mixed Asian, whatever. But anyway, Sol Campbell, he's doing it, man. He's killing it. He kept the team up, and at the end of the day, whether you want to see it as or not, the fact that he's black and he Statistically, according to him, and this is based out on facts, went for loads of interviews, didn't get anything. Then the one club that would hire him was Macclesfield, who had previous in hiring a black manager, because of Paul Ince. Paul Ince kept him up, eventually got the Blackburn job. And then let's be honest, on benefit, Paul Ince didn't do great at Blackburn, went back down. Um, that was after MK Dons, he did really well with Milton Keynes Dons as well. But then, you've got to say some things are weird, like Darren Moore. Darren Moore was killing it at West Brom. As far as I'm aware, I haven't checked it for a couple, couple of days, but um, he was fourth. He had West Brom fourth in the table and he got fired. And as far as I'm aware, they're either still fourth or they might be fifth now. They're either fourth or fifth. So they were either the same level as they were or they've actually gone down. There's a fox. There's a fox outside where I work. I wouldn't have recorded that, but literally, I didn't even, even realise foxes came out at this time, sorry. But yeah. So, um, so Darren Moore, and why was he fired? I'm not saying he's fired because he's black, by the way, because that's probably not the case. A bit weird, though, like how they get judged. And the problem is, I've I read someone, who was it? Was it Paul Lintz? Someone said this. They go, at the end of the day, the problem with ethnic managers is that they get judged on their ethnicity. So Chris Hewitt is seen as a black manager. Paul Lintz is seen as a black manager. So Campbell is seen as a black manager. Until there's a proliferation, until there's loads of like, black Asian managers they're not even the like, top Asian player in the Premier League. The last one was Neil Taylor, who's of mixed origin like myself. And he actually, most people probably even realise he's Asian because he looks more white. Um, his mum's Indian. But yeah, so that's the other story. But we can do that. We can do a video on that one day if you want. I don't know if that's anyone's interested in. But anyway, basically, so you've got to say, even though you don't want to be a race about it, sometimes you have to. And Sol Campbell has done really well, and I hope he does go up in the leagues. He should be at least at League 1 level, like Joey Barton, come on man, like Joey Barton, he's not like the most erudite, the most eloquent and articulate gentleman you'll ever see or hear, what is he? 
and he's automatically started at high level. So Campbell, who by all accounts, well spoken gentleman. Um, his wife's like is his wife like doing really well in business and some things. So she's she's quite um, established in the business world. But yeah, congratulations to boy Sol Campbell. Congratulations to Macclesfield. Really sad times for Notts County. They are, I'm pretty sure, this off the top of my head, but like, so um, bear with me if I get any facts wrong. They are for the oldest professional football club, I believe. I don't think they've ever been out of the league. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, yeah, sad times for Notts County, genuinely, um, historical club. Um, well done for Macclesfield and Saul Campbell as a man. I appreciate him as a player, but I'm not going to even lie to you. Um, I'm an England fan like, when it comes to football, and it, he did well for England. Like, Oh, that almost goal in '98. You never forget that. Come on, that's my generation. That almost goal. It was a goal. It didn't, it didn't stand, sadly. But um, no, nah, big up to old Campbell. Like I said, whatever colour he is, you've got to give, give him props and give um, everyone who's doing props today. I don't think MK Dons got promoted, not, but if he is, he's well played as well. But yeah, it's been your boy, the H. Another episode of H Talks Media, Comics, Films, and more.